So here in Santiago today, I think they're back to pre-COVID numbers. It's the place is absolutely packed. We went to try to get into mass today at 12 here in the cathedral. There was a queue from here all the way around to the back to get in. There was no way we were getting in this morning. So we went to the half seven pilgrim mass here in the cathedral. I didn't manage to get confession yesterday and uh, so this evening we got in at 7 30 it was packed as well curiously when it comes to the eucharist uh, uh, another thing you won't get a compostella here unless you wear a mask and you won't get into the cathedral unless you wear a mask so they're very strict and, and rigid on when it comes to this mask even though it's not law in spain anymore this is their own decision uh so anyway we got in at 7 30. When it came to giving out communion, the priest says, now, those of you who are coming here, I know some people bring the Eucharist home as a souvenir. I don't recommend that you bring the Eucharist home as a souvenir. There's lots of other souvenirs you can buy. And I'm there thinking to myself, well, yeah, <laughs> uh, we've, we've arrived to that place. And then they go on about, you know, you can only receive communion on the hand and don't say amen before you take communion, which is fine because in the traditional rite, you don't need to say amen. The priest says it for you. Your amen doesn't make the Eucharist any more real. Um, but I had to laugh, you know, that, that, that anecdote about pilgrims bringing the Eucharist home as a, as a souvenir. You know, if we stuck to the traditional way of giving out communion, which was never discussed, uh, they never discussed changing that in Second Vatican Council. If we stuck to that, you wouldn't have pilgrims bringing the Eucharist home. And maybe if we, if we knelt and received communion, we might even grow the consciousness of what communion is. Um, I went up to communion. I said, I'm not going to receive communion on the hand. I just chanced my arm. Went up to the youngest priest I could see, giving out communion, knelt down, and he just gave me communion, kneeling on the tongue. So there is faith. There is, there are priests that recognise, you know, the it's it's perfectly fine for Catholics to receive traditional communion that has Novus Ordo, but I do think they've used this t last two years to fundament the destruction of the Eucharist, the consciousness of the Eucharist, the whole catechesis of the Eucharist has been destroyed over the last two years by pushing communion on the hand, which really doesn't give the reverence that we should give to our King and nothing will convince me otherwise. Um, ah, anyway, it's just an anecdote. Renew the Eucharist. Renew the Eucharist. It's not just your personal relationship with Christ. It's giving witness to the Eucharist, to the next generation, to your children, to those around you. Very sad that they removed the confessionals from the cathedral. So the confessionals are gone that used to be lying in cathedral. Very sad because anytime there was mass on, you see different priests confessing and there would always be queues of people lining up for confession. And that's gone now. They've put them into the small chapels. And I just think it would have been better to leave them in the nave of the church where they were. So people at mass would see priests go up and say, well, maybe I'll go to confession after, after um, pilgrimage. And it's not there anymore. That's completely gone. That tradition is completely gone. Very, very sad. Um, so yeah, that's just my thoughts. And, on today, I, I wish I wish they would bring back the confessionals into the cathedral, into the nave each side. There was no reason to take them away. Um, it drives consciousness. It just drives you. You have to give witness. You have to give public witness to your faith. And if we're not giving the public witness to our faith in a Catholic cathedral, as Catholics, to the next generation, who are we giving it to? And especially those, because, you know, the Camino of Santiago now has become a very... Um, it's just become, you know, you know, a walk that we do, like, diff it's, it's, uh, it's become a tourist attraction for some people. And we could use it as a means of evangelization, you know. And I really think they've lost the beat when it comes to confession in there, shoving it to some side chapels. Uh, you know, bring it back into the cathedral, bring it back into public view. And the Eucharist, renew the Eucharist, give witness to the Eucharist, kneel and receive our Lord at home. There's nothing wrong with showing our Catholic identity. Um, people will say, well, Robert, why do you even bother going to the Novus Ordo? If we don't stand in the Novus Ordo and show reverence for the Eucharist, 
who will do it. That's my view anyway. Um, so, you know, drive the conversation forward. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.